Play on her little paw patrol. Look at her paw patrol. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say hey. That's so pretty. Look at her. Yes, she. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm back. I'm sitting up here walking. They actually found and put the Christmas tree up, so that's where we headed to now. I had told you all in the last video that I was gonna show you all the Christmas tree, and it is really cold. When I say it's cold out here, y'all, it is cold. So I think after when I get through showing you all this tree, I probably just gonna head in and go back to work. Well, go to work and just wait until it's time for me to clock in because it's just cold. Be going to the park today, too cold. Here go the tree, y'all. Yeah, that tree is. Hold on, I'm gonna go cl come close up to it for y'all. But this the tree. Ain't that so pretty, y'all? Look how big it is. I don't be careful. Who see my like, hey, what's up, you two? This girl, this. Oh, okay, okay, I can't, I can't go, my brother, y'all. Yeah. You too, you too. My sister, Shamir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't be careful. I hear real poor that camera. Hey, you two. What's up, y'all? I go with my brother and sister. How y'all doing? sitting here enjoying this ride before I go to work. I know y'all probably said in every video I gotta go to work. <laughs> but hey, you gotta make the money. Gotta make the money. Hey, y'all just checking in with you all. I hope you all safe out here and I know it's getting cold and um, you all continue to be safe. I'm getting super excited about these holidays. I end up purchasing some um, little Christmas decorations. So I'll probably show you all that. A um, little bit later on, if I don't do it today, I'll probably most likely show it to you all tomorrow before I um, end this vlog. But I'm just coming in to say, hey, hey, my beautiful queen and my beautiful uh, and my handsome king. I gotta check in with y'all. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Hello, hey, you all. How you all doing today? Um, today is Saturday, November the 19th. I want to say. And hold on for one second, y'all. Oh, yeah, I was gonna show you all. I did end up getting a little fruit. Um, hold on for a second. I'm, I'm gonna show it to you all. Okay. Okay, you all. Okay. So I did end up going to the Dollar, dollar Tree yesterday, and I didn't even know the dollar store now is a dollar and twenty five cent, which is still, like I say, because if I would have purchased this from anywhere else, I, I think I, my total was like I spent like forty some, well about forty eight dollars and stuff just getting these fruit items. So I ended up just wanted to get a little fruit Christmas decor for the style hanging around in the house in the kitchen. So I ended up getting this little cute little elf hat right here. I thought it was real, real pretty. 
And then I also have a Santa, Santa Claus head that I have purchased. Um, I mean, that my aunt has sent me back here um, last year from Chicago. So I probably, be, you all might see me because I've been thinking about it. I'm, 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 I'm going to go for it because the way how I post, I normally like post a video like every two to three days. So I'm going to challenge myself to post for 25 days. I think I'm going to participate in Vlogmas today. I mean, not Vlogmas today, but Vlogmas coming up in December. Yeah, because the way I post, it, it, I might well go on and do, do Vlogmas. Even though I'm a full-time worker, I'm going to still find ways to include Vlogmas in my videos to do it every uh, for 25 days. Um, I end up getting these little flowers right here for a dollar. These cuties, like a little shimmery um, silver. And, I, and what I might end up doing when Christmas is over with, because I was going to put these in some vases. I'm going to show you all that probably either tomorrow um, or because I get out. I will actually work today as well. So I probably have to show you all the vases I spray painted. But you all probably should have seen them in a, a previous video. I had did a video where I was on my back porch and I spray painted some vases silver, but I'll still show them to you all. But yeah, I probably end up leaving these in those vases because it actually go with my... Um, the cut of my room. My room is like a gray and silverish cutter. Then I end up just getting two of these little flowers because I'm a um I'm I probably either put these I might put these on the kitchen table or I probably put them as in my vases as well in my room. Um, I got another one of the little silver shimmery flowers. Um, I got a white one. You never can go wrong with white because Christmas colors, they used to say back then, red, white, and green. So you never can go wrong with some white because white go everything. And y'all, I thought these were so cute. Even though my room don't have gold, I might end up, I got two of them. I thought these was pretty. See, I thought these was really cute. I might end up, I'm going to see how they look in the vase. I think that'll probably look cute in my vase since I got two of these. The leave in my uh, for my room gray and um, silver after Christmas, the holiday. Real C. I'm a, like I said, I'm going to take you out on the journey with me when I do that. And what else I got? I got these cute little ra uh, uh, reindeers for a dollar. So pretty. That's one of them. This is another one. These are so cute to me, you all. And I end up getting three little, I, I don't know what happened to the little stockings I had last year for my daughter, my niece and nephew, but I end up getting three of these. I'm gonna put their names on them. I think this year I probably end up getting some candy yeah, I end up getting three of them, one for my daughter, niece, and nephew, and I'm going to try to get a marker, these little stockings, and put their names on them, because I did it, um, I usually, I don't know what happened to the last year ones that they had, I had purchased three, uh, three, maybe two, maybe a 2022 Christmases ago, but you know how stuff go when you cleaning and um, decluttering your house and stuff like that, either stuff get misplaced or thrown away. So I didn't want to take no chances. I just said, I'm going to pick them up while I was in the store because I was actually going to the Dollar Tree for something else. And when I ran into the, in the when I ran into the Christmas session, I said, you know what? I might well get on it and go and get them little fruit items because you can't go wrong with them. But yeah, that's, that's what I pretty much got you all. And t maybe tomorrow, because I'm off Sunday and Monday, I'm gonna give you all a tour. I'm thinking about, hold on, let me show you all. You all see my, see the kitchen cabinets. I'm thinking about maybe putting them three reindeers or maybe two of them right here um, over over this or maybe take this. Well, I'll keep these up. I'll probably put two of the reindeers right here. We're gonna see though. Yeah, this, yeah, this we got that. Cause I, there's nowhere I can put them over here. But 
in this section right here because we got these little things right here. I'm thinking about maybe putting two of the rain. Them rain. That was pretty much what I had ended up getting yesterday and, uh, from the dollar store. Cause like I said, I had went in there and get like some little frozen microwavable dinners for when I don't feel like cooking. And then also I had seen on Amazon. I might have to. I'm gonna order this week and then when it come, I'll show you all. I'm thinking about start doing meal prepping more, especially on the days where I don't feel like cooking and don't have no energy because working full time, being a single mom, and you know, I, I'm, you know, I thank God for the energy that I do have and get up every day and go to work. But it be some days where I lack, cause like I say, I enjoy cooking. I love cooking, but like I say, these last few days just been very challenging because you know, it's like. The business and the hotel been, you know, up, just constantly picking up, picking up, you know, people, you know, um, more and more people traveling now. So, you know, people want to book a room. So it's like, you know, the working so hard like I do, it's been kind of taking a toll on me from like cooking much. Like I say, um, I was surprised when I had cooked the um, the chicken Alfredo pasta that I made, which was in a, a, another video. But um yeah, so I'm thinking about meal prepping more, and I kind of got the idea from Rihanna Janice. She really inspired me to start meal prepping, and she said she thinks that's a good idea, especially if you're a working uh, full-time worker and, you know, you're working five days out of the week and you barely have time to really, you know, prepare meals like that. That's a good idea. So I end up going on Amazon because I shop with Amazon a lot anyway, and I just Googled to see what kind of um, storage containers they had. So they had like, I think like 10 for eleven ninety nine. But like I say, soon they, when I order them and they come, I'm a, you know, that'll be another video I'm going to show you all. But they some nice little containers. They're plastic. Um, it's a two compartment where you could probably put the meat and um, you know your two sides together. But most people don't like their food to touch. But for me, it, it don't matter. I mean, because it all going down the same way anyway. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna get that. But yeah, um, yeah, I just wanted to come in and check in and say hello. Cause like I say, you all know it's it's getting cold now here in Memphis. I don't know. Um, I don't really plan on going to no park no time soon because it's just been really, really cold like yesterday when I took you out, when I showed you out downtown. The, um, let me move this out the way, y'all. When I had showed you out downtown area with that tree, when I say it was so cold out there, it was cold, but I was just determined to get some footage for you all so you all can see that big old Christmas tree. But, yeah, it was really cold. Like, it felt like it was... Um, maybe 20 degrees yesterday but it's just been really cold but i knew it was coming because we've been getting so much nice weather all the october the whole month of october it's been like in the 70s 80s the first two weeks of november here it's been like you know maybe 70 80 degree weather so i knew it was coming so it's you know it's time for you know it's winter time now so it's time for it and you all got this little headband wig on I don't know what happened to my um, other two wigs that I normally wear. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to order me a new one anyway. I sometimes, somehow misplaced them in the house. Um, I had just recently washed my hair. I ended up having to take the braids down because my hair was really, really itchy from underneath them. And then at the same time, when I did the braids, I didn't even get a chance to wash my hair. So I just ended up slapping this on, some little headband wig. It was re really pretty. Yeah, so I'm just going to rock this for a couple of days until I order me one. I think I'm going to order um, a butter lace wig. I've been hearing great things about butter lace. It's a um, it's a, another YouTuber that I follow, and she, she always showing some some beautiful synthetic wigs. She be getting for like under $50, and that's not bad at all, you know, because um, everybody can't afford a $300-something wig. You know, I know I can't at all, so... If I can find something for a you know cheaper price and it still look just as good as a um, a human hair wig, you know why not? So uh, butter they they say it looks you know it melts your scalp. I've been seeing other YouTubers um, review the wigs on their channels and install them, so they kind of inspired me um, to get one of those wigs as well. And you all, these is my natural eyebrows. Today just gonna be a plain, plain Jane day for me. I'm not gonna put no type of makeup. Yesterday I had put a little mascara, minimum mascara on my, I mean not mascara, minimum concealer on my face. Um, 
So I, I just said today just gonna be a no makeup day. I have went in, did my skincare routine, but for some reason my face, like I say, is is slowly breaking out. But when I um before I leave for work, I'm gonna go in with the little um see the feel ointment on my skin because it's kind of dry. My face get real dry after I wash it. But yeah, it's just gonna be I caught myself trying to um arch my eyebrows using the nair. But evidently, I guess the nail didn't really, you know, the nail, it, it, it I kind of did them a little too thin because at the same time, I tried to use, the nail started burning real bad. And I, you know, you know how that go. I told you when you use nail, you have to be careful because you can get a chemical burn. So I just said, I'm going to just, um, you know, just go on after I used the nail. Um, and then if, the, if it don't remove all the hairs, I just went in with a little raise and stuff, but yeah, they, they like I say, I have to wait till they grow back full. But I just, they just buy me because when my eyebrows grow back, the hairs just, they, they just don't, they grow all over the place. So I just try to shape them up. Like I said, they're a little thin, but hey, you know, it, it is what it is. They don't look too bad. Like I said, when they grow back, I try to re, uh, redo them with the nair. If not, I just go back and continue to use my, um, using the eyebrow archer that you purchased from the beauty supply store. But yeah, that's what I had I wanted to show you all the little Christmas decor. It was like a little mini, mini Christmas decor, decor haul I did. I really was intending to, you know, get the stuff right then and there because I was planning on getting some of the stuff next week. But I said, well, I'm in a Dollar Tree because especially by this a Dollar Tree in the area I stay in, you know, that um, when you stay in a neighborhood and it's like a neighborhood store, everybody shop out of neighborhood stores that's, you know, close in the surrounding areas like you. And most of a lot of stuff in the neighborhood store usually go, go fast because that's the only store, you know, stores that people might shop at the most. So I was surprised they had all that. So when I do start decorating, I'm, you know, show you all how, you know, layer and decorate stuff. But, um, yeah, let me make me a little cup of tea right quick and I'm going to be right back with y'all. <laughs> drink a little of this down because it'd be time for me to leave out in the fruit. Um, I don't really have to be at work until three o'clock, but I usually have to either catch the catch the bus, leave out, catch the bus a little early earlier than my usual time. So I end up with my with the tea. I just use the regular Tazo tea and I just put one of them little vitamin C down in my um 
with my tea for my the immune system. You all probably seen them before in the store. A lot of people don't like them. They taste nasty. But when I had got sick back here and I thought I had the COVID, I ended up had to drink on them every day because I, I didn't, you know, I didn't have a taste for anything. I couldn't eat no no food. I barely can drink drink anything. So I tell anybody to, you know, you got to take care of yourself the best way you can because, like I say, by the season changing, you know, it's bound for people to you know, encounter, you know, get sick or stuff like that. So that's why I be trying to always like to protect my immune system. And I think next week I'll probably try to end up getting some um, some type of gummy vitamins for me and my daughter. It don't taste bad. It have like a little tangy taste, but... Yeah, it don't taste too bad, but... Even medicine, medicine don't really taste good at all. But you know, you you have to have to take your 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 you know medicine or vitamins or whatever in order to you know take care of yourself. So yeah, I'm trying to debate if I really want to catch a lift or walk out here in this cold. So this bus stop, I don't um I'm, I'm really debating. But it's like some keep telling me just go on and. Take your chance catching the bus because it's ridiculous how the lift prices just. I mean, I know you all probably hear me say it a lot, but y'all, when I say these lift prices beyond yesterday, I had to do a wait and say. Now, normally I don't get off of work until 10 o'clock. I didn't end up getting home yesterday until like probably like about 11 o'clock, 11 30. Those lifts was running from you had $23, $37, $47 and $50. Now imagine, I'm just 10 minutes away from my job. Normally when I used to catch a regular taxi, my fare would be like $10 from my house to, down, to downtown. Cause downtown is not too far from my house and my job definitely not that far as like a 10 minute drive. I say it's just, it's, you know, but nowadays it's hard to get a cab because Lyfts and Ubers and, you know, kind of took over. So, you know, most of the people doing Lyfts, Ubers, or they catch the bus, but Hey, greater is coming, it's coming, it's coming, greater is coming, greater is coming, greater, greater, greater is coming, it's coming, it's coming. I know I'm not a singer, y'all, but. When I'm trying to praise the Lord, and I know He's been good to me all the time, I know great is coming. So all this, that's why I I look at things differently. I'm learning that now. Back then, it was hard for me to see that when I was a little younger, because the older you get, you you know, the more wisdom you gain and you learn more. So I'm learning that everything happened for a reason, and this probably be another story, but uh, another story book I, I probably, you know, I probably can eventually write about, write another story, but hey, that's another story. But God, God is good, y'all. Great is coming. It's coming for me. It's coming for you, too. Y'all probably wonder why I'm still looking back. I'm looking at my, my stove clock, um, stove clock. I guess I'm a... Um, if I don't talk to you all um, no more today, um, I pray that you all have a great um, weekend because it's um, Saturday and a great productive upcoming week. And like I said, if I don't talk to you all today, most likely you all probably hear from me tomorrow. But I love you all. You all continue to stay safe out here and never let nobody take your joy. Mwah. Feel about you, think you wish you would.